this winter, we talked a lot about how we were mixing several products together as we're applying fertilizer and even when we're spraying herbicides. I want to make sure that you don't have any problems at home if you try this on your farm. My question for you is this. Have you ever had to clean out a sprayer or a fertilizer tank because two or more products weren't compatible? I'll show you how to avoid that job in today's Iron Talk. There are a lot of new products coming out every year, and I like to try the new stuff. However, I don't want to have problems in the fertilizer tank or in the spray tank. The best ways to avoid this fate are to, number one, ask questions of suppliers and manufacturers. They've tried mixing their product with all kinds of things during the developmental stages of the product. If they know for sure that something won't work, it could save you a lot of trouble. The second way to avoid trouble is to do a simple jar test. Mix the various things you plan to tank mix in a clean jar in the order in which you'll add them to the tank. For example, let's say you want to mix some fertilizer with another fertilizer and some water. I always like to add the water first as it seems to minimize problems later on. Then add the two fertilizer products one at a time. Shake the jar vigorously to see if any problem arises. Then add the second product and follow the same procedure. Watch for a few things. If the jar gets warm, there may have been a chemical reaction taking place in the jar that could adversely affect the products you're putting together. Also, watch for clumping or settling out of solid particles. If you see no adverse reactions, well, you should be in good shape to mix those products in your big tanks. Now, one last note that's especially related to fertilizer products. Each batch of fertilizer may be different. So if you get another load of fertilizer delivered to your farm, it's a good idea to jar test things again. That's all for today's Iron Talk, and now back to the show.